It was a dramatic scene that played out over the course of the weekend, both here at Osgood Hall and in the courts, as Metrolinx pushed ahead by cutting down some of the trees here before being stopped by an injunction that will last until at least Friday. I was shocked that Metrolinx would uh, begin cutting down trees at 9 a.m when it knew that they were would be meeting in a case management meeting about the injunction that was being applied for. The cutting has ceased for now as a result of an injunction pursued by the Law Society of Ontario, keeping Metrolinx from continuing work at Osgood Hall. The LSO hopes to have a heritage architect provide a report within the next day, looking at alternatives to destroying the garden where the trees stand. This was a choice of the course of action that Metrolinx took and community members and stakeholders who are committed to building transit are saying there is a better way of doing this. Work with us, collaborate with us. Let's get this important transit project done in the best way and the right way that includes us. A public meeting has now been scheduled to look at those alternatives to the Osgood Hall site on Wednesday night based on a third-party review recently provided to the city. Metrolink seemingly doesn't plan on changing its course. What do you hope changes between now and the end of the week? Well, you know, I always say it's always possible to make a change. And even though they've cut down all the Moss Park trees, they haven't dug the hole yet. All the while, crews were hard at work clear-cutting dozens of trees at Moss Park to the east. During the same time, over the weekend, also in an effort to make way for Ontario line construction. People are awakening to the fact that Metrolinx cannot be trusted. What's happened over this week is appalling. Nearly word for word what Metrolinx had to say over the weekend, a spokesperson from Transportation Minister Carolyn Mulroney's office offered this statement today. Quote, over the past two years, Metrolinx has been actively engaging with Moss Park and Osgood Hall area residents, businesses, community groups, and elected officials, including 17 times with the Law Society of Ontario directly. We are filling the transit gap we inherited from the Liberals, and Ontario cannot afford delays to get this much needed project built. The clock is ticking until Friday at midnight for those opposing the plans to somehow convince Metrolinx to consider one of the alternatives. Otherwise, we're likely to see the same scenario that played out over the past weekend once again in just a few days. Mark McAllister, City News.